The Weilong WRM 2019 is somewhat of an older puzzle, which is why today I'm going to be making a custom version where I add things like maglev, extra magnets, and really, really nice lube. Something just fell, hang on a sec. So first things that we need to do is actually just unbox this thing, so let's just do that. All right, so this is the box. It's the standard, uh, I mean, I guess it's the English version. Um, it doesn't have the Chinese characters that are normally there, uh, which is not a bad thing. It's just, it's the same cube. So we have here the cube, uh, English Moyu logo, as I said. Let's just get everything out of here. Let's just take the cube out first. So here's the cube. Um, and then in here, there's something you know, that I need to get, and that's these extra magnets here, because actually, there's two different types of magnets right here. There's these smaller ones, which are thinner, and there's these larger ones, which are thicker, and these are the ones I'm gonna be using to make the magnets in this cube stronger. But the thing is, I don't have enough of these. I have 18 here, but luckily, there's six more uh, large magnets in this container, so let's just take those out. Okay, so the way that you take these magnets out is kind of annoying. You gotta take one of these screws. So you gotta take one of these screws here, um, and the magnets are in this capsule thing. They can't really come out. So what you do, you flip this thing over. And there's a small little hole there, and you stick the screw in and push kind of really hard, and the magnets pop out. Uh, I might as well get the small ones too. All right, so we have here all of the magnets we're gonna use. We have our maglev. Uh, these are uh, maglev uh, screw and magnets from I think either a WRM, uh, a Worm uh, V9, or a YS3M, I'm not sure which, but it's the same thing, so yeah, it'll work. Um, so I guess let's just unbox this. Just take the cube out of the plastic. This is like my favorite part of like unboxing a new cube because you just get to see the cube and touch the cube for the first time. Oh, it's nice. All right, um, let's also take this sticker off while we're at it. So we have the cube here, um, standard WRM. In the lighting, it actually, man, that green looks insane, but it's actually just the uh, standard kind of duller colors. But for some reason on my camera, they look really, really vibrant, um, which I guess is not bad. Uh, let's just do some turns on it because this just on its own is still a very nice cube. It feels very airy, light, and uh, just a very nice cube. So first thing we want to do is replace all the screws in here with maglev stuff. So to do that, we're going to need to take apart the cube. So let's just do that real fast. So we got the cube all disassembled. Uh, other than the core, I still need to unscrew the core. So let's just do that real fast. Okay, so I've sorted all the pieces, so now we're going to take the maglev uh, screws and uh, and we're going to put them, uh, install them into the core. As I'm screwing these on, I'm just noticing that <laughs> the screwdriver just sticks to the screw because there's a magnet there, which is kind of funny. You just do like... Oh! Yeah, maybe I won't do that again. So I finished uh, installing all the magnet maglev stuff for the core. So now I gotta do all the pieces. So I have here 24 magnets. You only need 24 magnets um, to add more magnets into the edge. Uh, so we're just gonna take apart the edge like this, and you can see that there's magnet slot uh, on each piece for a magnet. So let's take apart the edge. Take a magnet and just drop it on top of that magnet that's already there and that will hopefully make the magnets stronger so yeah let's just do that okay, for some reason so this is something i've noticed with the wrm is that sometimes some of the pieces it seems like it's glued here so let me see if i can open it. there we go yeah it looks like this piece here was kind of stuck in here like there's extra glue or something that got caught in those cracks. Uh, anyway, sometimes it breaks. 
Um, and that's annoying, but this time it didn't, so I got lucky, I guess. And there we go. That's all the edges. Um, all these have, should have stronger magnets now. All there is to do is assemble the cube. So we'll take an edge and just put it in its place like this. Get the last corner. Just like that, and last edge. And just like that. All right, so let me put the sense caps back on just so that I can see how the cube will feel. And there we go, the cube itself is done. We have the magma upgrades and stronger magnets. Uh, so let's just see how the cube feels. definitely stronger not stronger it's definitely faster and the magnets do feel stronger so it's like kind of balanced out i think it's a little bit too tight right now because i keep catching on stuff like oh yeah that corner cutting is not as good but just as itself just the cube without any like setup or anything feels really really good I was worried that it might be too fast because um, the cube already just as itself is kind of a fast cube, but the stronger magnets really actually do balance out really nicely. Wow. It sort of kind of feels like a, um, a little bit slower and a bit more blocky or stable WRM, like, or like Worm V9. Um, but not as blocky as the y serum. it's more in an airy kind of hollow way. It feels really, really nice. Wow, okay. So now I guess I just have to set it up with some lube and also tension it. Okay, so I think I've tensioned it really nicely now. Corner coming feels a little bit better. Um, so now let's just take out the edge. Like so. And now uh, we'll take our Angstrom Gravitas and just put that on the track surface piece. Take pretty big amount and just put that right there. Put that on the other side. And we'll also just take a little bit and put it on this part of the piece. And the other side. That looks pretty good. So now we'll take this edge and... Oh my gosh! Okay, so I've just dropped the edge on the floor. So actually I got to wipe off the edge because a bunch of dust just got on it. Uh, so all that lube I just put on was just wasted, which is unfortunate, but oh well. Okay, I've completely cleaned off this piece and also re-added the lube. So let's try this a second time to put this piece back in. There we go. That worked a lot better. Uh, yeah, I put a little bit too much, you can see that's kind of space there because of how much lube is in here. Um, but let's just break this in. Oh, yeah, that's a very, definitely a lot of lube, but it'll be good because this cube is really fast. Let's just break this in. So that's been broken in pretty well so far. Um, and I'm gonna take out another edge, take out the red or white edge this time. And we'll take Dick and Toss and apply that. Put it on the same spots as earlier. Um, but then I also put it on the actual piece itself. So let me get this to focus. And I just coat the, the tracks with Dick and Toss. And then we'll also put it here.
but then we'll put some on the side of the piece up here and the other side okay so we've got the coated edge so now carefully i don't want to drop this again I swear I'm not making this up, I just dropped it in a moment. Okay, so surprisingly, it doesn't seem like it picked up any dust when it landed on the floor. I guess my floor is just really clean. So we'll just put this in anyways. Let's see, just open this up. There we go. All right, so now let's break this in. And actually, I'm gonna add a little bit more Dignitas. blob of it and put it right there. Like so. And we'll break that in. So I've lubricated and broken in uh, both Gravitas and Dignitas. The cube is feeling very, very nice right now. Um, but it is a little bit on the slow side, even with the maglev. So that's why now I'm gonna add some of FC Calm, which is the new uh, hydroxy water-based lubricant. The instructions say three to four drops. I'll just start off with two and then I'll add some more after. Uh, we'll drop some one, two on the actual inner pieces. I'll begin breaking that in. Instantly the cube feels much faster and very, very, very smooth and hollow feeling. It really is a really, really nice, uh, satisfying feeling. It feels like the cube is like, you're turning like a marshmallow or something. Not like Tengen V2 marshmallow, but kind of like, it's a very, very nice uh, pillowy kind of feel. I don't know. I'm just using random words now, like marshmallow pillow. It's not like butter. It's more like like whipped cream or something. Like it's more airy. So yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll call it like the whipped. The the, the 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 the. Okay, I don't know. The point is, the cube feels amazing. It just has such a unique kind of um, glidey feel. Um, but I'm actually gonna add a bit more onto the actual piece part. So I'll like drop there and on the other side, drop there as well. Oh, and that made it even better. The sound changed again. It's kind of more, more like a, even more glidey feel. I'm not sure, the just, cube just feels amazing now. Wow. Now if you look inside now, there's sort of a thin layer of droplets, kind of, that uh, from the FC column. Um, and that's just it uh, reacting with Dignitas, kind of not really uh, getting on the pieces, it's more just gliding in between. Yeah, it's a very, very unique feel. And now I'm just going to put the center caps back on. Actually, you know what? I'm going to click compress it by like maybe two or three clicks. We'll take off the center caps again. I'll just start with two clicks. Okay, this cube is like, man, it feels like, oh, just the pieces have no friction between each other, but they also, it's not like a Gen cube where the pieces are so light where they don't have weight. Like, it feels very, like, all the pieces are, like, since the extra magnets, they also add a little bit of weight. Just the pieces, like, 
kind of have inertia as they move, so they kind of turn by itself. I don't know, it just... I'm trying to explain things I can't really explain. It just, the cube just feels good. That's all you guys need to know. You know, I'm, I'm gonna go do like an average or something with this, like 100 or so solves and we'll see how it performs. But yeah, I'm really excited to test this out some more. Okay, so I wanna give some thoughts to this cube as a whole during these solves. Um, first of all, the maglev, while it is pretty, really, really insanely good, um, it was a bit too fast. That's kind of obvious. Um, I found myself overshooting a lot, um, and also <laughs> I like a couple times on AUF or just the last moves of um, Alex or whatever. I'd like do a U2 instead of a U or something like that, and it caused me to plus two. Um, that happened like twice or three times or something. Uh, I mean, I did get some pretty good solves, but I also got a ton of bad solves because the cube is just kind of too too uncontrollably fast. So what I did then was I added two drops of silk lubricant, like two or three, um, and that actually slowed down the cube. Not too much, but just enough where it was a lot more manageable. And with that, I was able to get this solve right here, which is my first sub five on camera. Let's go! And the solve itself, it was just so stupid. Like, I'll, I'll oh show God. you a reconstruction of the solve, but like, <laughs> it was so stupid. Um, yeah, these solves, the cube itself felt pretty good after I uh, added some slower silk and um, as a whole, I would main this if the WRM V9 wasn't here, but um, yeah, it was it's it was a really nice experience to the cube on this. Um, I don't know if it would be worth the entire, all the work that went into making this, uh, but it is nice that it is a decent feeling cube. Um, so that's pretty much it, I guess. Um, just watch the rest of these solves. Um, and I'll also do a, a reconstruction of the four because it's just so stupid. It's like cross minus one or something. Like, bruh. Uh, anyway, yeah. So yeah, if, if you guys enjoyed, I guess, leave, leave a like, comment, all those whatever thingies that, that make the channel do well i guess yeah um and that that's that's it there's no more this is the end of the video so yeah thanks for watching goodbye